think you can shoot that thing? It's the TikTok noise. Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, dude. I still do not have a weapon, <clears throat> and that kind of bothers me. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Understood. Nerd. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Press up against the wall and hit that the wall punch button. And hit the punch button. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh my god, Medicare. I got it. Yeah, I got it. No calm. So calm these nuts. Uh -huh. Oh, I get the so calm because they go so calm these nuts. Oh, 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 oh. I know. Don't call. His friends that come back from the review to see his body there. Hide it immediately. Hide my dick hole immediately. Oh, start button on a PS5. A, B, connecting bridge. Ah, uh, I forgot about this. Bro. Right and watch out. There I need to start fucking by this point. I keep on calling each other. We'll spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? How about a fucking use a hanging mode in real life? Face any Keep on calling me. Railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All hmm. Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. I did not like that. He was just big chilling. I don't like that big chilling. Transformer room. Oh, this cutscene is different because I don't have a gun. I like the fact they do that. I don't have a gun, so now I have a different cutscene.
A lot of bullets in that one round. Got luscious ass eyelashes too. Alpha's not responding. Alpha's all fucking dead. Alpha's gone, man. Sexy ass motherfucker. Get down. Hmm. Look at that floating gun. Where is he? <laughs> Doesn't even have a shadow, just a floating gun. Quick, quick. See how he, how he quick, quick, and how he sucking men off. He sucks me off. I'll probably Hold on. I'm not, not quick, quick. Calm down. My name is. My name is Pliskin. Request. Iroquois Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. David Hater. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. 
<laughs> Have I seen you before? That two D cockroach or water bug. That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. True. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? True. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? It's like social media. VR or social media. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nano machines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No a little too late for that one. Involved. It's a little too late for that. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, fucking right in. What's up? Piece Take of look. shit. Damn it. God. Fuck, man. Why well, you gotta ruin the damn mission? Ooh, a football. What the hell? What the hell? Navy captain. That a football. Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way mm. he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead, Dead Cell. Cell. Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more George Fan, Fortune Fat Man. began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the Dead Cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the, the other members? Shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Yes. Right. And he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. Hmm. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Oh, uh, look at the pixelation. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is and it couldn't for just dead cell members to God hold God couldn't do a HD text pack over the cutscenes. 
Only for the codex and live this, gameplay. And you came in alone to boot? Why? Uh, what are you really doing here? Uh. Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. That was me how I was a kid and I started smoking because Loki Loki Take this too. Oh the soul calm. Loki, I got into smoking because of the gear. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero. Currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? Shit. BC connecting bridge. It's right down the hallway. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. 141.80. Gotcha. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about dead cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Bet. Hey, what's your name? Ryden. Ryden. Oh. Ryden. <laughs> Strange code name. I'm the Thunder God. The one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Can I go on and get me on? Oh. Yay. Yup. Think you can shoot that thing? I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> All right, I won't, I won't, I won't. Think you can shoot that thing? It's the TikTok noise. Uh-oh. What's going on here? One of my favorite themes. This game had the best themes for these for the villains in this one. The president got cake. Hey yo, what are you doing, what are you doing to Joe Biden? Is that nippies? That shit, tight, tight. U.S. Navy. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? Come, put me out of my misery. That's how I feel like. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Queen. Hmm. Don't let them take the president! Ready grenades. <laughs> Nothing. A dud. A dud. Wait, how did? If he's to the left, how did they keep from the left? If Ryan is to the left. Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness?
God damn, girl. Oh my gosh, kill the bird. Yo, Peta? Peta, look away. Peta, look away. Don't, Peta, don't look. They're just, they're just dropping. Why are they dropping? Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? No. There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> mm. Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s of the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are Damn. they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you Aww. too done? Right. Are y'all gonna fuck? If not, scene. shut the fuck up. That's another word the Colonel's saying. If y'all not fucking, shut the fuck up. Unless I'm getting my dick wet. Bryden, shut the fuck up. Uh, I'll turn on my rations. Right, what are you looking at? Oh, I see. Rosemary. What? Could you excuse him for a moment? Huh? You know, so he can... Oh, I get it. <laughs> Jack, um, let me know when you're done, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, I love stuff like that, like uncomfortable conversation. Oh. I can't believe you, Jack. Do you know what that place is? Yeah. I just thought maybe the bomb disposal instructor might be in there. Why would he be in there? Well, you never know. He's AWOL and... Even AWOL, a normal guy wouldn't go into a woman's bathroom. You're the only one I know who would. You're like really strange. Man, Rosemary, fuck you. Settle down. Rosemary, shut the fuck it's up. It's all right. Right. Rosemary is right. You should probably look someplace else. I can really sympathize with you there, though. What, sir? Uh, <laughs> right. That's that. Return to your duties. Mm. Uh huh. And it's a lot. Are unbelievable. Shut up. I'm gonna go do your duty. Shut up. For something your duty. Shut up. <laughs> I'm 
Someone just fucking died. Freeze! Don't shoot. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. Not a kid. I'm a bitch. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter? Peter? What Peter gonna do? Lecturer at Nav Scolio, Indian head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. <laughs> YouTubers in 10, 15 years from now, how they're gonna be walking around? To me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Why are you? You're, Kid, this is you're, the bomb disposal. You're the bomb disposal guy. Any explosive hmm? disposal textbook, and you'll see. You're the bomb disposal <laughs> <laughs> Just ancient disposal guy. Hmm. Why did they you're bring Peter? out of retirement then? You're because Peter. The terrorist group here includes one of my students, the Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. <sighs> no, I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. Ryden. That's Wait. an odd name. <laughs> Everybody's giving me shit with your name. Survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? How Emmerich. A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Hmm. Chief official. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Yeah, you shut is the fuck about it. Is it an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Raiden. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This yeah. is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? Oh, uh, ask Maury. I don't know the father or not. To think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, okay. Look at this. This is a C4 bomb. <laughs> it's like I'm doing my coffee reviews. It's live. 
You can see it pulsing. I uh -huh. spray this on the sucker and there we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Okay. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. Can I put it in my ass? recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Mm -hmm. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? Nope. No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He nope. had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is True. to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Oh, that's kind of deep. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Exactly. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. Gotcha. Keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of twelve bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell two. Take this. Hey. Security What's card. This? Security card. Security card. Issued to shell personnel. There's a chip in it. Something that we had now. So many things the Metagear pre predicted for our future. Varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Right, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. I used, I used to think this was absurd to have. But now we have hotels that you needed to get specific next door card to keys unlock you. specific doors. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure.
We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. Mm -hmm. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semperfy. Hmm. Semperfy. That man's no seal. Semperfy. He's a navy man. What? Semperfy is marine talk. Semperfy. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. Hmm. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by Kodak from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. All right. Give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Bet. I won't, I won't give in to the fear. That'll be Medicus out of three, I do. Yeah. Oh, Miss America, Miss America. Oh. Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective. And how fast can they go, go to show? It means that they wouldn't be the best B. places to choose if you wanted to destroy hey, this place. Too. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna do a full circle. I think going this way, I think F will have a... F will have the gun I want. Or need. So I'm gonna go towards F. heard that isn't this where the interpool yes sediment pool oh this shit has three people nothing here oh this ninja
Why are you calling me? Raiden, at your feet, there's a hatch for pipe or gauge maintenance. Face the hatch and push the action button to open it. There may be something you can use, so check the inside thoroughly. Nothing here. What's that? Fuck. What's going on? Respond. Communications with strut D have ceased. Sorry, yeah. Okay, and these motherfuckers are quick. There is no sign. Unable to find the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. I guess I've been scared of the people with the glass. I don't want to keep on slipping. I'm like slowly sliding. Oh, my chair. It's a bomb. No. Nobody can call me. I got to call these people now. Still, man, I found a this bomb. Right. Disposal of the C4 in strut D is complete. Yep. Explosives were planted on the maintenance hatch. Well done. It looks like there are no more bombs in that strut. Now, head for the other struts. Gotcha. I'm gonna strut that ass. I'm gonna strut that ass. I'm not gonna use this gun until I have... Uh, what you call it? I'm not gonna use this gun until I have a... Suppressor... Suppressor... Su suppression. I could have them on my mic. Suppression. Fuck. There you go. Warehouse. No, parcel room. Somebody there. Hmm? Who's there? Who is that? It's the huh? enemy. I need help. Damn it, I was fucking. 
Oh, dang, he just fucking uppercut me. What did I do? Attack team, come back at once. Guard team, stay alert. Nothing here. Hmm? Who's there? God damn it, man. Hmm? Who's there? Brother, what do I do? Nothing here. <laughs> Freaking time. God, man. Uh oh. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What the hell? What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. Huh. What the hell? Agile as hell. Oh, God, uh, agile as hell. Bro, you got some luscious ass eyelashes, man. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Freeze! No! Please don't. Freeze! Huh? Don't kill me! You got it quick. Right in here, the C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, mm -hmm. there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm going to tell Kliskin to watch his back too. 
Just hurry. Look, I'm coming from the next lane. I touch your phone, cause I am.